So, today we will back to basics. Basics because this was my first real tag, instead of vent that I write nowadays. By the way, this is a really nice S that came out from me totally random, but it doesn't fit with today's sketch. Probably you don't care. However, packet paint issues as always, mixing, watering, Mixing. A little later. So, I didn't say it already, but... Hi, writers, and... Welcome in another episode of Go Cheap or Go Home. As you can see today, I'm not in my usual legal spot. I'm in a different legal spot, because fortunately, living in a big city, we have many walls to paint. And as you can see, I'm not alone. I am with Andy, a guy from Ireland. Do you want to introduce yourself? No. <laughs> not really. So, he just asked me if it was possible to paint a nice piece and I say fucking yes! Yo, uh, ciao, I'm Andy. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing is to remove some plants. Done. So let's paint! Okay, I definitely sketched the first letter V2 small. I'm struggling. I was struggling a lot. I guess that all of you writers know that in this kind of moments everything around you become faded. Not that real anymore, but sometimes the reality can be a cold shower. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Super athletic vent in 3, 2, 1. Wow. They don't like it. I can't after this incredible climbing performance, I noticed that to talk with the mysterious waterman I needed definitely something to step on. Well, the angry vent from the past took the first thing he spotted, a trash bean, and finally got able to talk with the mysterious waterman. And more than talking, I was definitely screaming not nice things in his face while I basically was invading his house. But you know, afterwards, graffiti writers are quiet people. At least if not watered. Okay, so I just talked to the man that uh, watered us. <laughs> he just wanted to give water to the plants. He's not interested in us painting. Uh, he doesn't care if we are painting the wall. Ah, what a wonderful start. Letter struggling, water struggling. Let's continue. I thought I was about to see a fight right there. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, and now the sketch is fucking gone. This probably is a sign of the destiny. I really wanted to back to basics today, but apparently God is against me and also the man that just watered us. So I'll just write vent. Let's restart in a better way, please. <laughs> So in the end we talked for quite a long time and Waterman apologized multiple times. Also some people who lived there told us that he just has this, let me say, weird habit of watering the plants beyond the wall. I have to tell you that while I was talking with that man I felt so bad for screaming in front of him previously. In the end, he basically was a super chill and gentle old man, probably alone, and one of the best persons I have ever met while painting, to be honest. He even brought us some fresh water and we took a picture together. Graffiti and, in general, experiences related with graffiti are always the best. So, all's well that ends well. But I still have a whole piece to make! Okay, so even if we were attacked with water weapons, I managed to finish the sketch. It's definitely time to make the coat of background and then fill the piece. Everything with the bucket paint. And Andy's filling it with spray cans. You are a rich guy. No, it's not true. He just has to catch a flight, so he cannot bring bucket paint on board. I'm painting the background in white, even if it's the worst color as primer one. But since I paint with what I find in the trash, well, 
this is it okay so bucket paint background done the white bucket paint uh, it's kind of good it's not covering that well especially on the black that was on the wall but it's time to use more bucket paint also fix the frame a little bit okay now it's cool this little beast smells as hell but the cheapness sometimes will smell it. Time to add a little bit of designs just to make it not to seem completely flat. The effects at the bottom part of the V is completely wrong. Okay, I have to wait for the bucket paint to dry. So it's time for a little piece of background, just a little stain behind the piece in order to not waste too much fucking mosquitoes, too much paint. So for the outline I'm gonna use a trash can, a black can from Technica, which is a really nice brand of trash cans, but I don't really know which cap to use because I don't really want to waste a level 1 skinny cap. I'm gonna try this gold skinny cap, but I think that is a little bit too dirty. I have to say not that much, let's try to use it. Okay, just joking, it's really clean on this can, of course, only if you are really too close to the wall for my standards and my skills. Let's try with the banana skinny. I often fall to make straight lines. Write in the comments if you also risk your life to make super straight lines. Okay, I'm basically done, just the final fixing are missing. However, this can, black from Technica, is a pretty nice can, but I have to say that's not the best, because the first, in my opinion, is Silvani paint. Really, really nice, the valve is perfect. This, just a little bit worse, just a bit. Hey yo dear writers, as you can see over here I'm freaking done with this piece, also Andy is done with his piece, it was a pretty nice evening and uh, even if they watered us it's <laughs> fine I have to say, also because I was doing another sketch then he watered me and also watered my sketch so I had to change my plan and the piece that I made is definitely better than the sketch I was doing so thank you waterman, however 3 hours of painting on a budget by me look like that. As always, let's analyze it. And as always, let's start from the balancing. Which incredibly, in this piece, is not a peacock tail one. Incredible. I am experimenting this new kind of balancing, which basically it's completely built and based on the V. It's something that I already tried once, the drop cap concept that I did, you are seeing the photo right now. Basically, I took this concept and uh, I said, okay, now I want to do this but without throw ups. So basically, Basically the V is super shaped, slanted towards the left, this long bar with an arrow at the end basically is a chassis for the E, the N and the T, which are a little bit smaller than the V, more 
static with a center of gravity in their middle so they are more or less vertically balanced and they are super boxy themselves and also with each other otherwise the V is super wide whatever letters themselves I really like the V and it's the only letter that has also a non lettering part the E is super easy in the upper part is a normal stick letter otherwise the bottom behave like uh, a throw up there are no holes and there are no sticks. The N is my classic N and is the ugliest letter of the piece but I will talk about this in a few seconds. The T is the best letter, super correct and it has a lot of power, all the elements of this letter fit super well. Well, why the N is the ugliest letter? This horizontal stick that I call the shoulder of the N is too big and too wide. This stick is as wide as the first stick of the V but it's wrong because in the E and in the T there isn't a stick as big as this one of the N. I really like the color scheme, it's super easy as I like and in general that's it, I have to say that I enjoyed this session also thanks to Bayer, I mean to Andy, I hope that the pronunciation is correct. However, spending the review of today, basically I used leftovers for sketching, leftovers for the effects within the piece, leftovers for the highlights, less than half of a can for the background, I don't really know how I managed to fill completely this background, I don't know, so all these cans that I mentioned they weren't a cost for me, I only bought and used completely the outline can which was the Technica Black, 3 euro for this can, and the two buckets that I used, I picked them from the trash, so they were free, of course. And so, for this piece, I spent 3 euros, of course, taking the most from the leftovers and the healthy cans that I had at home. So, writers, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video and you liked the piece, and see you next time! By the way, bonus clip, this is Neapolitan gatto, potatoes, prosciutto, pan grattato and uh, mozzarella and a lot of really nice stuff. After painting, there is nothing better.